Hey gang, this is Paul from Isaka Gaming. Hey, I am broadcasting from the gaming dungeon. I am doing this video again because I blew the last one with my other character. So what I'd like to do today is talk about the exploration badges, this time for King's Row. Uh, last week we ran one for Atlas Park. This is my backup, um, the one who ran them first to verify everything worked. And it did. It's going to be a little more tricky today uh, because I don't have stealth. But let's go ahead and see if we can do the same thing uh, as we did in Atlas Park. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to bring up uh, the updated guide, as you guys can see here. Um, that is basically the menu uh, option for King's Row. Uh, that should thumbnail um, all the different spots and points of interest. Um, there is one up here that actually, I believe it's upgraded, the very, very final one there, uh, that actually doesn't seem to be on the list for a bunch of different online guides. I don't know why. Uh, but it is required for us to be able to get the uh, exploration badges for King's Row. Uh, the location for it is the same as last time. Let me go ahead and pop her up here. Uh, the location is going to be um, as defined in the text file. And uh, that location is going to be inside your game folder, homecoming data. Um, then you'll have to make the text folder and then the English folder under the text folder and the menus option under the English folder and dump it there. Uh, the King's Guide will be saved as well on one of my Google Drives for you guys to be able to download. Uh, it'll be in the MNN form and also in the text form so you guys can see that I'm not trying to infect your computers. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and first minimize this folder view this time. Goodness gracious, because I left it open last time. And let's run the macro. And make sure that I don't have any space between the team and the slash. Looks good. All right, there's my King's Row Boonten. I'm going to pop her up over here. And first one is Wentworth, which is right over there. So the downside here is we may end up doing more fighting this time because some of these badges are in kind of difficult locations um, if you're a newbie. All right, next for us is the pond. Yeah, look at that. I'm getting beaten on already. Let's run to the next spot. Um, I hope these guides are okay with you. Um, I, I know that... Uh, they run through occasionally guides themselves regarding fast travel locations and exploration badges. Um, usually on weekends, somebody be running uh, it through all zones or at least through the major ones. Uh, but I figure if I keep on popping these up once a week and giving you guys options for menus so you can do it yourself, that whenever you want to, uh, you can go ahead and do so. And uh, get your long range teleporter for, for hopefully for free without having to wait and uh, also uh, be able to just get from place to place. Oh, he's, he's a bad guy. I don't want to be there. All right, Man, Woman of Vengeance. We are over there next. That guy was very purple, so beware, beware. There's one that's gonna be very tricky here. It's um, in a a power tower type thing. We'll see how that goes. You know, I could probably stop and pick up that um, upgraded right there. But you know what? Let's do them in order. I just shot past the upgraded badge. All right. Next for us is summoned, which is over yonder. Strong recommend if you guys don't have flight as a travel power and are not choosing flight as a travel power that you use your 30 minutes of level 2 jetpack um, to help you out uh, regarding getting places because some of these are in difficult spots if you have anything other than flight. Uh, if you are already past getting a jetpack at level 2, um, I recommend picking up, up one for about, uh, I think it's 5,000 for 30 minutes. Not really sure. Could be an hour, but I think it's 30 minutes. Uh, at the start vendor, which used to be the pay-to-win vendor. All right, that was summoned. Let's do Mystic King Queen, 
which is over there. It's not to say that you can't get them using super speed and, you know, athletic run and super jump and combat jump and all that stuff. It's just, it's, it's a little more tricky. Uh, if you like the challenge, definitely recommend not using fly and, and uh, just going nuts. This is a great, I'm, oh, drive by. This is a, a great zone to have super jump in. Hey, long range teleporter, nice. All right, next. That was summoned. No, it was Mystic King. All right, keen sighted. What were we under? So what that tells me is I have not done all of the badges in Atlas Park because uh, part of the upgrade or the update last week was the change from having all of the badges giving you the teleporter, long range teleporter, to having 10 total badges. Uh, and there are eight of them in Atlas Park. Drive by. Yes. Whew. That was amazing. All right. Smokey is next. Smokey is way out there. So I have not gotten all the exploration badges. My other guy has, but you know, now that I've already done it and I left the folder view over it um, very cleverly, thus making the video useless, uh, we do what we can. And then we should have the one final one, which is the upgraded. No. All right, way back over there. There are easier ways of doing this regarding going A to B. As you can see, I've kind of zigzagged across the entire map. Um, I have not optimized this regarding travel. Um, I guess in one way it's nice because you are actually getting exploration bonuses uh, regarding this. But um, if anybody wants to tweak it so that it goes from more A to B or in a circle or anything like that, feel free. Uh, let me know, and uh, I will gra gladly update my my menu uh, to suit that. Drive by. All right, let's get out of here. And there's our five merits. And let's verify that we have long range teleporter, and that King's Row is one of the options. You know, here at iSocket Gaming, we make sure we make videos right because we do it three or four times. All right, there we go. There's a long range teleporter and there's King's Row. All right, we have success. Next week, we're looking at doing probably Skyway City or Steel Canyon, one of the two. Probably Steel because we use Steel in a lot of stuff. Um, and uh, we're going to continue on with this on Tuesdays. Hope it helps you guys out. Uh, look for the file information uh, or the file shares themselves in the description. Once again, this is Paul. Hope to see you guys on Friday or Saturday. Feel free to give us a yell. Um, the information about the stream is going to be in the stream description. If we've got room in the party, give us a holler and we will gladly let you in. Um, be warned, though, we are not good at what we do. Um, we are not min-maxers in any way. Uh, and we will most likely die and, and, and wipe the party quite often. So you have been warned. Have a great rest of the week, and I hope to see you guys this weekend.